Hi, I'm Mitch, and in this FreeCAD video, I'm going to thicken this shell with the offset tool in the part workbench. Then I'm going to use that same tool to thicken every thin object I can think of in FreeCAD, which I've listed here. Shells, surfaces, 2D extrusions, planes, sections, and faces. Right next to the offset tool, there's a tool called Thicken, which sure seems like the tool you'd use to thicken something. But it isn't. Instead, we're going to choose Offset, and then there's a little box we check called Fill Offset, as discussed in this forum topic. It's a simple process, and it's the same for all thin objects, but it's not obvious. So let me show you. We'll start with a shell, because that was the motivation for this video. Someone else designed this vehicle body for me using Rhino 3D, and it was sent to me as a step file. I converted it to a FreeCAD standard file a while back. You can see that the conversion resulted in both a compound and a shell. I can't thicken a compound. I can convert the compound to a shell, but that's not the purpose of this video. So I'm going to hide the compound for now by pressing the spacebar. This requires the part workbench. Since I've got that compound selected, I'm going to turn it back on for now. And then just to start with a failure, I'll try to offset my compound. And trying to offset that compound gives an error. We have this shape not done. Fine, so we'll cancel. And this is going to get in the way, so I'm going to hide it using my spacebar. And now I'll select my shell. And instead of offsetting it, I'll try to thicken it. It's not a solid, so that doesn't work. And it wouldn't do what I want anyway. So finally, let's choose the offset. And I think I want this to be a couple inches thick, which is 50 millimeters. And notice how it creates a second surface offset 50 millimeters from the first surface with nothing in between. I'll check the fill offset button. And that gives me the solid I want. Done easy but that got me thinking about those other five types of infinitely thin objects and since I couldn't offset a compound is there anything else that won't work <clears throat> what do these other offset options do and finally if the thicken tool doesn't thicken then what does it do let's get into it the first thing I'll try is a thin extrusion I'll just go back to my start page and start a new parametric part which brings me to the part design workbench I'll choose sketcher and maybe the XZ plane and I'll just draw an L shape Now I'd like to point something out here. Generally, I think of pad in the part design workbench and extrude in part workbench to be essentially the same. But look, part design won't pad an open sketch. Because the wire is not closed. So instead I'll go to part workbench and choose to extrude it. And 
And there's a couple of things to point out here. First of all, I accidentally embedded my report view up with my tasks and model tabs, and now it pops up automatically every time it's got something to tell me. And what it's trying to tell me now is in this orange text that my sketch is going out of the allowed scope. And that's related to the fact that I sketched from the part design workbench, but then extruded in the part workbench. There's a link to the form to explain that more, but remember that I said in an earlier video not to mix part and part design workbenches? Well, I'm being naughty. And now we have an extrusion with zero thickness, and my sketch is down here in that extrusion. So I'll select it. and we'll offset it. And now if I look at it from, from this angle and I really increase the extrusion, or excuse me, if I really increase the offset, you can see how this is working. The offset is a distance normal to the original surface. So in this ca case of the L shape, offsetting in the positive direction forces the surface offset to become smaller and smaller. And if I offset in the negative direction, that forced it to become larger and larger. See how it rounds the corner here when I go to the outside? If I want that to be a sharp corner, I can switch my join type to be from arc to intersection. Tangent doesn't do much. For now, let's just stick with the arc join type and a positive direction offset. And then we'll fill the space created by the offset between the two surfaces. And now I'd like to spend a little bit of time checking our feature tree to see how everything uh, is related to each other. Our offset is the main object with the extrusion in the underlying sketch uh, with the extrusion and then the underlying sketch within that. And let's just check how our shell uh, feature tree looks. So this was our offset and that's our shell. So that's a little bit simpler feature tree. Now let's make a face. Again I'll go to the start menu begin a new parametric part in the part workbench choose sketcher choose the XZ plane okay and I'll dimension a square then I'll switch back to the part workbench and use the make face from wires tool and again, it's begging me, please stop mixing part and part design. And with that new face selected, we can add, again add an offset. And, and fill it. And now we've got that offset as the main object with the face and the sketch in our feature tree. So now let's just back up a couple of steps. And instead of making a face with the wires in the part workbench, let's go to the surface workbench and make a surface from that same sketch. Now let's select our surface, go back to the part workbench, and offset it. Fill the offset. OK, and now we check our feature tree. It's the offset and just the surface, and the sketch is out here. So it works. So this works with surfaces too, right? Well, it's not always this simple. Maybe we should get a little bit more creative with our surface. Let's do a curved surface. I'm going to fast forward through some of this.
In case you're interested in the process of making this surface, I went to Part Design Workbench and went to Sketcher, then created a B spline, and then with that spline selected in the Part Design, I created a datum plane in the Tasks window. Then I sketched my second B spline from that datum plane. Then I used Fill Boundary Curves in the Surface Workbench to make my surface, and then I end up back in the Part Workbench to do the offset. So this was my third attempt at this. The first couple of attempts I got an error message in the report view simply saying the offset was not done. It didn't really change anything here and it worked just fine. So if you get an error too, this is your evidence that it should work. And again it's just the offset and the surface and the sketches are separate from that surface. Okay, but what if I do something kind of silly? I'll go back to my L shape. I can create a surface from these two lines. But it's not really obvious how this third edge was calculated. So I'd say this is a somewhat ill-defined surface. Now, if I come, oops, okay. Now if I come back to my part work bench and I select my surface and I try to offset this, the two don't match. And even though I've asked it to fill the offset, that hasn't been done. So if you've created a somewhat exotic surface and the offset isn't working right, maybe try something simpler first to prove it works, then build up to the more exotic shape. Finally, let's see what this Thicken tool does, shall we? Plot Twist, you can use it to make a sort of thick surfaced shell, but you basically have to work in reverse. So I'll go back to my dimension to square, And I'll go to part design this time and pad it. Then I'll come on over to part workbench. And select this face and thicken. If I rotate this, you can see it essentially made an empty box. with the opening cut from the face that I selected. Notice if my thickness is positive, it builds the thickness of the walls out from my original sketch. And note these rounded corners again. Just like with the offset, I can fix that by going to tangent or intersection. And if the thickness is negative, it builds in from my original sketch. And now all I have to show for the last 10 minutes is an empty box. I hope this was helpful.